Hey folks, it's Tony from the Tech Firm. We've got a um, little lab set up here, and the switch is set up split in half with a VLAN. So 99 is on the left, 88 is on the right, and on this small switch, same deal, 99 on the left, 88 on the right. And I have one trunk port between them, this guy right here. So the big uh, thing I saw on the community forums is people debating if you put a dumb switch between them, and dumb just means that it's not VLAN aware, and it's not manageable, so it doesn't know what to do with a VLAN tag. And what I've said is that it's just blindly gonna forward that packet. It doesn't care what it is. It's not gonna look inside of it. It's not gonna strip anything. It'll just work. So that's what we're gonna try to do. So we're gonna use our handy dandy little link runner here to find out if things work as advertised. Link runner's plugged in over here. So what I'm gonna do now is break my trunk connection like so, plug it into my unmanaged switch, and then plug my switch back into that port. Done. So now, if I go to my link runner, I'm gonna rerun my test, and it's plugged in on the 99 VLAN, so it should come up with a 10.99. Now let's wait for it, and there it is, 10.99. So that worked. So now what I want to do is make sure I can get on the other VLAN as well. So I'm going to move this to the other half. And it should be an 88. There it is, 10.88. So that's how you prove or disprove one of those urban legends or myths. In this case, this specific switch from TP-Link is not VLAN aware, it will not strip off the tag, and the trunk will work as advertised. The next one I'm gonna do is over a wireless link, and we'll see what that does as well. Bye for now, have a good day.